now that we can get back out about, it's time to get there, explore the northeast again. Away from the farm magic, a more easy Easter Sunday at the Waterford Lodge in Morpeth. The small matter of a Newcastle United match keeping some indoors, but the beer garden appeal still strong. You don't often get the chance in the last 18 months, have you really? So it's, it's just nice to get out when the sun's shining and then with the family and just relax. It's really nice to be out in the fresh air and be able to go out and do the things we used to do um, before lockdown um, two years ago. It's great. We've been locked up for a while, so it's just nice to be able to get out and very rarely we've got sun on a bank holiday as well, so you've got to make the most of it, haven't you? Half an hour away at the coast, however, it was hoods up and hats on for visitors admiring St Mary's Lighthouse. But the bracing British weather couldn't deter the ice cream hungry at De Mayo's in Whitley Bay. Historically, everyone hits the coast, you know, it's the first sort of, everyone gets their summer clothes ready and they hit the coast. It's not quite summer clothes weather today, but how busy have you been over the last few days? There is a buzz this year, there is definitely a buzz, even though there is a lot of unpredictable things going on, you know, there is a buzz, everyone's like excited to be together. Easter 2022, a return to family traditions, a chance for some well-earned treats and the boost businesses need to see them into the summer season. Well, we're enjoying the wonderful view here at the Time Mouth Surf Cafe. Pleased to say we've got Michael Curran here. Michael, you run the cafe in this beautiful location. How busy has it been over the last few days? Well, it's been really busy, which is really good to see. It's you know great to have everyone back after the last few years we've had. Just a really good start to the summer and we hope it continues from here. And how different has this Easter weekend been to, say, last year, the year before that for you? Uh, it's been much different. It's been uh, a lot of stress off our backs to be able to just work however we need to work without the restrictions and it's just great to have everyone back and it's, yeah, it's been fantastic. And you were telling me you had quite a few large groups here yesterday which would have set you on edge last year. Yeah, and it's nice just to be able to have them. They can be free, we can, everyone can relax and we can just go back to doing business the way we used to do it. And how important is it for you to have a good Easter as a business? It, like I said, it sets us up for the rest of the summer. Uh, it's great for the staff to be busy. We're all in this hospitality business to be hospitable to customers, so it's great to have them back and it's just great to crack on. And where have you noticed customers coming from? Because we know we're allowed to move about a bit more freely now. Yeah, uh, it's great to have the, the local customers that we have. Um, over the last few years, obviously, we've seen people from Scotland and London come up. Um, but it, obviously, over the last few weeks, we've had people from Australia, Germany, from France, um, and it's just really great to have everyone back. And you love it here. You spend yeah. every day here. But what is the unique thing about Tynemouth in the North East that keeps bringing people back? Well, I always say it's, it's the views like this that draw people to us, but it's like the friendly locals and the way everyone acts. We just, I, I do think we are a really nice community. And I think that's what brings everyone to keep coming back, yeah. And we know everything is getting more expensive. Running a business is not easy at the moment. How are you feeling about the summer season coming up and then into the next winter where things get tricky? Oddly optimistic. Good. <laughs> I think this is a good place to start, and I think if it carries on this way, everything should be fine. Brilliant. And what have you been selling the most of over the weekend? What are people most enthused about? Uh, pints. Always pints. <laughs> Never ends. You're trying to recruit more staff at the minute as well, so that's obviously a yeah. sign that business is good. You put on music here. How important is it to diversify as a business when you're when you're trying to make a success? It's always good to have you know different revenue streams and just make sure we have all the bases covered. Uh, you know, uh, coffee and breakfast and that kind of thing is our bread and butter. But especially when the winter nights come, it's it's always nice to have events on and just like so just to keep people interested and keep everything moving smoothly. And obviously, when it's very very busy, you are very very busy. How do you plan to spend your bank? holiday you get a bit of time to yourself to enjoy a bit of beach action yeah hopefully we'll have some time off at some point and make the most of it but this is what i enjoy this is what i really like doing this is my holiday <laughs> michael thank you very much there you go some easter hope and optimism a busy few days and hopefully another one to come oh i bet you've been on worse jobs megan than sitting on beautiful time on beach nice isn't it Absolutely. <laughs> Enjoy it. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see you a little bit later on. Thank you. It yes. is a gorgeous stretch of water there. Now we're out and about. Northeast. Seems like a good time to get the weather for the rest of the UK, isn't it? Who could share that news with I us? I don't know. Is there a Kirkwood somewhere? Good morning, <laughs> Carol. <laughs> Good morning, both. And if you are in time with this morning and thinking of nipping into the sea, the North Sea temperature is 7 to 9 degrees at this time of year. So it still is a wee bit on the nippy side. 